Bone Broth Diaries, day five, I'm still alive. The final chapter, I've made it, I'm on the home stretch. Today's been a good day. I felt a lot better than yesterday, very energized. Woke up very early, I, I was doing a workshop this morning, 8 a.m., so got up about six-ish. I haven't been sleeping particularly well though, that's one thing I've noticed throughout this five days. My sleep, I've woken up in the, in the night, heart beating, feel like I'm sweating out grime. That happened again last night. It wasn't too bad, but yeah, just my sleep wasn't brilliant. But to the, the, the workshop was fine. I was feeling very focused and clear headed. That went well. Uh, I was absolutely famished. The, the hunger hit me the hardest after lunch, not lunch, after breakfast. And for breakfast, I have antioxidant powder in, a, in water. So that, that's my breakfast. Nothing actually solid, literally antioxidants. And I, I started feeling very, very hungry, fantasizing about food. So I looked at the menu for a post, post detox menu and you need to ease back into it. You can't just start getting so and steaks down. You need to just give the digestive system a little bit of warning that we're going back onto solids. There's an Italian soup, looked very nice. So went down to Tesco and I, I was walking around and I could smell the roast chicken bar and it was, I, I mean, I hardly eat meat nowadays, but boy, my mouth was watering. I was surrounded by food and I thought, am I a masochist? What, what am I doing in Tesco surrounded by food on a fast with people just buying all stuff for Christmas? I made it out alive, but didn't eat anything, didn't break me. Uh, the Then came back, cooked a huge pot of this this stew I got a little bit carried away I was chucking in ginger chucking in turmeric which I hope is not gonna mess the flavor up but I was just getting a little bit carried away because cooking food the smell of it not having eaten for five days anyway I've got that to look forward to tomorrow um, the the thing that I've found difficult is the temperature drop the cold showers in the morning which is part of my ritual have been very hard because it's already cold it's Christmas legitimately cold weather then you add on to that your body's cold because you haven't been eating and the shower is freezing then uh, it becomes uh, definitely more challenging that's been been tough uh, throughout the week m the first day easy second day headache but nothing too bad third day the hardest that was when I, I my body was aching Fourth day, in the morning not so good, but by the evening feeling fine. Um, the revelation for today is a green tea enema. Why not? I can't eat, so you got to get creative. Put green tea in your enema. Nothing like it. And it, it was very stimulating. I I do administer the the enema with with this green tea warm green tea not boiling and uh it's it stays in me for like 15 minutes doing its magic cleaning the intestines uh doing the diy or not the diy the mot rather and um you know swilling around you even do some well i do some exercises just to make sure it gets all around there and uh it, i'd been advised to do this because apparently it helps cleanse the the kidneys apparently i I don't know, I'm not a nutritionist, but that's what I've heard. So I did this and it was, I felt very buzzed up after it. I was kind of like I'd just done uh, five cans of Red Bull. So I think because of the caffeine and the antioxidants and the fact I haven't eaten for five days, it was quite stimulating. Uh, so yeah, interesting experience. The yeah, the fifth day has been easy as far as my mind, my mind focusing. The, the, the energy level has been a bit higher than yesterday. So overall, it's been very good. The hunger did kick in, but what I've realized is just go to a supermarket surrounded by food and you won't feel hungry. No, just not, don't, don't overthink it. You know, I went there, I got some ingredients, I cooked and I was looking forward to tomorrow, but 
after that, I, I just kind of got on with my day and felt fine. It made me realize, you know, we don't actually need that much food unless you're doing a marathon. So uh, it's been a very good experience and I am looking forward to some food tomorrow. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the diaries. I'll be doing a post diary debrief tomorrow, let you know how I get on with solids and uh, stay healthy. Peace.